It's time we stop letting fear dictate what we can and can't do, our self-worth and our minds and so much more. In this video, we're gonna talk about fear and how we can't let it beat us anymore. Let's dive into it. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get updated when videos just like this come out in the future. Fear is rampant in our society. I mean, the news is quite literally something that pushes fear. And so often we live in fear of doing whatever we wanna do and being who we really wanna be. And the truth is we all suffer from fear, no matter who you're talking about, whether it's Elon Musk or whether it's John on the street who doesn't know what to do with his life. No matter what, we are all suffering with a bit of fear. But the way we react to fear and the way we allow fear to dictate our lives is the way that we can actually change everything about who we are and allow ourselves to become who we need to be. Fear is not an irrational thing. I mean, fear is rational because in most cases, it's something that made it so we were safer, so we had a home, so we didn't go out into situations where we might die. On the other hand, today in our society, most things are safe. And what we suffer from today are these illogical social fears and these fears of letting other people down or these fears of failure, where failure is one of the best teaching lessons that anybody could have ever had. In a previous video, I talked about how Eckhart Tolle talks about the pain body and how by living in the now, being present, you can't really have fear. But I wanna talk about more of the rational mindset behind fear and how it really influences our lives a lot. Mel Robbins is a phenomenal speaker and she talks about something called the five second rule, which is count to five, do it at the end of the task, reinforce that behavior over and over again. So every time at five, you actually go and do what you wanna do. And over time, the fear won't stop you anymore because you know at that five, you have to go and you have to do it. That is the rational way to combat fear. And it's one of the exercises that I like to do, but I wanna dive a little bit more into fear and how it really has a hold on our minds. In the past, right, you had fear so you wouldn't get eaten by a lion. And here's the thing, I actually don't know how many times people in the ancient days got eaten by lions, but oh well. Those types of situations is why fear was what it was and why we wouldn't do certain things because we were afraid of the consequences. Today, fear acts completely differently. Most of us are scared to be ourselves. Most of us are scared to go and do what we wanna do. Most of us will never live up to the potential of what our life is because fear holds us back from that. And I'm not talking about just depression and anxiety. I'm talking about quite literally all types of fear. Anything that doesn't allow you to do what you wanna do and there's no physical ramifications or no physical blocking to doing that, is fear. Most of us will never do the job that we want to actually do. We'll never leave the job that we don't want to have. We'll never start a business because we're scared of failing. Those types of fears are these fears that we have to learn to get over. Because just like a bad emotion, you can get used to and understand fear. Hate is something we'll all get, no matter what we ever do. So when we have these social fears, the easiest way to get out of that mindset is to understand that hate comes no matter what. It doesn't always mean that the hate is feminine and it's gonna be something that you know puts you in actual danger, but look at Gandhi. Gandhi had hate. Everybody gets hate based on their mindset and it's just because not everybody will always agree. Respecting others is the main thing that we all need to try to do, but in reality, understanding that someone's opinion, especially on the internet, doesn't matter as much is fine because it allows you to break that tie from fear. Why are you scared to do what you wanna do? Maybe it's because someone might criticize you on Instagram, or maybe it's because you might look funny for a while, or maybe it's because you'll fail. Stop believing that. Regardless of if you're scared to do it, try it, because the worst that can happen is you actually fail and then you have to do something else. The worst that can happen is someone makes a bad comment and then you message them, and likely they'll apologize because humans when confronted like to apologize. So here's what I want you to do, and here's the way that I think that we can all start to get over our fears, act. Just act on whatever you wanna do and realize that no matter what, you're fine, right? For me, being 23, I understand that it doesn't matter how many times I fail right now because I am young and I do have the ability to fail and bounce back, fail and bounce back. Look at Colonel Sanders. It took him until almost 70 to actually make something of his life and then he grew Kentucky Fried Chicken. There's so many different stories just like that. Doesn't matter what age you are at. It doesn't matter what you've done previously. Whatever your fears are that are stopping you, just do it. Be afraid later. You don't need to be afraid now. Do now, be afraid later. That's fine. But as long as you do, and as long as you don't let the fears hold you back, your life is gonna change in such a better way. That's it for this quick video. 
Please press like if this video helped you in any way. Otherwise, comment below with a fear that you will not let stop you. Make sure to press the subscribe button so I can make more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you soon.